Got uh, some pretty cool, handy dandy, nice new feature. So uh, here it is. This is called White Door, and basically what it does is if you are stuck on, <clears throat> stuck with an older device, iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 1G or 2G, it allows you to get iOS 5 on there. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. It uh, tried it out on my old iPod Touch 2G, and it's basically just iOS 5 custom built for older devices so it has multitasking um, iCloud basically actually I don't know if it's iCloud I think it's like a Dropbox alternative but it's close enough um, custom wallpapers like all that stuff that iOS 5 has and so it's pretty cool all you have to do is go to whitedoor.com slash download I'll put the link in the video and uh, this is what it is it's really not all that much to talk about all you do is you pick a firmware so I'll just demonstrate you pick the iPod Touch 2G and it'll tell you what to download. All you have to do, you just download the uh, the firmware. It'll take you to multi-upload for a little bit. I know, making me wait. These file sharing sites. Um, but you just install it, just like you're doing a regular install or restore from iPhone and iTunes. And so one thing when you're doing this, actually. All you do is you use the shift click if you're on Windows, or yeah, shift if you're on Windows, option if you're on Mac, and then find your, the file. It'll be on your desktop or in your downloads folder. And then the big important thing here is set up for a new iPhone. Oops, speaking of iPhone, set up as a new iPhone. So that's the main trick. And wow, I mean, are you kidding me? And see, a yeah, good trick with these captures is you only have to get the first one with the blob in there. You don't even have ever have to do the second thing. So now that I'm downloading, it'll tell me there's a long time to go, but I don't really, I'm not demonstrating how you do it. All it is, you install it just like you're installing it through iTunes. So I'll probably show you a quick little clip perusing through, but yeah, that's about it. All right, so once it's done downloading, you'll just want to unzip it. And this is Windows 2. Steps are no different. If you have a Windows computer or a Mac, it doesn't matter. So you're going to unzip it, open the folder. All you have to do is find this IPSW. So when you're in iTunes, and, well, it doesn't make any sense for me, but you just shift, click, and click that one. Choose that one. You can put it on your desktop if it makes it more helpful, easier to find, whatever. But this is it. You just restore it. So just the most important key here is, one, be sure to get the right firmware, and two, make sure that you set it up as a new iPod. I know it's kind of a pain, but that way you do not have to deal with all the bugs that can happen if you don't. So yeah, try it out. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. Peace.